Hello everybody, this is Dagger Say to bring you another update of the Resident Evil remake, Chris Hard Mode walkthrough. And yeah, I am excited now because I see how short this video is. Yes, I'm definitely going to finish doing the commentary this morning. Oh joy, and I have to remember to render. Dang, it's going to take forever. Yeah, I'm probably... I just, um, recently, I, man I finally managed to beat Toho 7. Yeah, 7. So, I've been basically just continually playing the last three levels of it to make sure I could be much better at it. <laughs> so the point is to beat it without continuing and that's not going very well. And that's that's like one of the only games I can sit there for extended periods of time and play. Yet at the same time, I'm completely um, game-wise capable of stopping at any point because all the levels are short. They're really freaking hard, I'll tell you that. Good music, um, beautiful attacks, um, yeah. I almost got hit by that zombie right there. <laughs> if you remember um, earlier, my explanation for that was you'd have to be retarded to get hit by that. Yeah, at the same time, um, those snakes back um, when we were in the mining area or just leaving when I went to that like puddle, or big puddle. <laughs> I went to the big puddle and it's... I got hit by a snake. Yeah, I've never gotten hit by that before, and I was under the impression, the same explanation of the zombie, you'd have to be a retard to get hit by that. I managed to get hit by that. Fortunately, I didn't get poisoned. And also, luckily, they did put, or they were kind enough to put a blue orb there. So poisoning in this game isn't really a problem, just don't get poisoned all the time. You know, simple as that. So now, armed with our newly created stone and metal objects, we are going to, uh, Grab the other stone and metal object and do stone and metal object things, and it's going to be a super fun time. Hooray! Yeah, I don't, I don't know what really like, controls my thought patterns here. They just kind of happen. All right, so remember, pick up this other one, or you'll be sadly disappointed when you run all the way back to the front of the mansion and then realize, oh no, I have to go back. And then I think there's probably still like zombies or hunters somewhere to uh. Stop your progress and why did I decrypt that? Okay, I'll, I probably have a reason for that. I think I might. Ju okay, I know it's um, in case I get bitten or something like that, I need to have some sort of defense mechanism to uh, mechanism. That's not the right word. I need to have some sort of defense against um one particular zombie I'm thinking of in the last area. So I don't want to waste my hand grenades now. But usually by the end of the game, I have like two or three hand grenades just sitting around in my inventory doing nothing. So, I don't know. There, there's not really too much zombie action in the last area. Enough of it where it can be a problem. Oh, yeah, okay. I know. Oh, hey, a crimson head. There's the first one I actually managed to uh, activate on my own other than the one that's always there. So, yeah, that's what a crimson head does. And they don't have nearly as much health as Coffin Henry did. You can take him down in two or three shots, whereas Coffin Henry took five. And I'm speaking of shotgun shells, by the way. So yeah, they're not they're not a problem, but basically the whole point is not to let them exist in the first place. So yeah, pop those things on. I don't know in what universe though that would actually make the door open. I suppose. Maybe it's magic or something. All right, so there's like a little moaning down there. That's uh, well, you can probably figure out who it is. But if you did, I'm not gonna spoil it yet. Okay, so this is a good spot to save mainly because it's possible that you can be instantly killed here. So just to be on the safe side, I always like to save here. So, it's up to you whether or not you want to do it. This is like the very end of disc one of this game. So, just, just you know, be ready. Be ready for expect the unexpected. Alright, so arm yourself with those last books. And that's, you might want to open them now. <laughs> last book, volume one, last book. Volume two, haha. -ha. I don't know why they decided to change it from Doom Book, but... Doom book is still makes perfect sense, but now there's like oh, it's gotta be last book. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so 
I don't know why, but I really like going down that particular stairway. Something about it just makes me really like it. You know, come to think of it. Uh, okay. Yeah, sorry. This, as I might have said in one of the videos, it's like 6 right now. So, and I went to bed relatively late. Yeah, it's kind of weird why you open the doors so slow. I mean, I know the doors is, are essentially just a loading screen, which is kind of clever. But the one thing that's uh, kind of annoying is there's some parts in uh, Code Veronica where, yeah, she can knock those down too, by the way. Yeah, this is Lisa Trevor. Basically, the way you find her is uh, push down all these things, sort of have Wesker distract her. And once you push them all down, and this was a really close run, she could have pushed me off and killed me there. That's how she kills you, not really by hitting you, but by knocking you off. Anyway, so I might as well tell her... I explained her backstory, and this is sort of like her mother's grave, and she's been still getting really annoyed of people looking like her mom. So she's like, oh, mom, I gotta kill myself now. I don't really get the logic behind that. But whatever. And Wesker uh, kind of disappears there, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I was just saying kind of strange there's like one or two parts in code veronica where it's like a timed sequence and you have to like quickly escape from something and for some reason you still t it's still like five seconds to open a door so i'm like oh wow really that's annoying anyway so this is the end of disc one right here you just gotta pop these two metals onto there i just kind of guessed as to which one it is I'd, I'd waste time examining, and then, you know, we're going to go down to this big thing. Uh, all you have to do is pop the two metals in, and then it drains away. Give it a second. Give a second. Look at this beautiful animation. Wow. Wow. What a sight. What a sight. Tuh. Yeah. This is the stuff legends are made of, guys. It's friggin' beautiful. All right, so here's a conveniently placed elevator. I don't know how like the electricity is still functioning after it being submerged. I don't know how people intended to get down there, but whatever. All right, disc two. Press that open button and pop in the next disc. If you don't know how to do that, I feel sorry for you. All right, guys, see you next video.